Guys, as you see, I'm in Ravenna, New York. Well, I know you can't see that, but I'm out on a job site today because this is one of the most unique combi boiler installs I've seen. You wanna talk about efficiency out of a unit that does multiple jobs? Let's walk in here and check this out. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, so the thing that I recognize is the Renai Combi Boiler. So that part's easy. But do y'all see all this piping here? Let me get somebody in here that can help explain it to you better than I can. Hey, Matt, I need some help here. Hey, Roger, what's hey, going on? What's up, brother? How, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Now, first of all, this is beautiful. So Matt, tell me about Nolan Energy. Well, we started off as Nolan Propane, and uh, we, were, we had a change with the times. Everybody heats with oil, so people wanted to start switching over to propane. So uh, we changed to Nolan Energy, and about 10 years ago, we started putting the Renai boilers in. And uh, ever since then, we've been doing about 100 a year to, uh, to take over the heating needs for the customers. Two of these a week, that, that's a lot. To, that keeps the company busy, doesn't it? Depending on the week, sometimes you do five. You do five this week, two next week. So. And you're still a full service plumbing company full service, too. Full service, yeah. That is fantastic. We do a lot of tankless water heaters, a lot of boilers, whatever the customer needs. If you're up in the Ravina, New York area, call Nolan Energy. Stop in and say hi. Okay, this is a beautiful installation. You've got the Renai Combi Boiler in here. Yep. Multiple heating units and domestic hot water all out of one unit. Correct. Before this went in, what would have been here to supply everything we just talked about. Not just a big water heater, but also a furnace to heat all the water for yeah, everything, this, correct? This whole house originally was electric baseboard. So we took it all out and we did, we're doing radiant heat and we do a couple of hydronic air handlers. First of all, explain the system. What is the flow path of this? How does this work? Yeah. <clears throat> so all your circulators are on your supply side. Okay. And then the radiant has the mixing valve so we can dial down from 180 to what we want the floor setting at. I'm assuming you don't want the floors at 180. See, no, we don't like, have these in Texas. Yeah. So th this is concrete right now, so we're firing around 120, 110, what these are at. Now you say these are circulators, and this is for radiant heat. Yep. Circulate to where? These are circulating to air handlers in the attic. We have two hydronic air handlers. So it's forced air. So what all can you heat with this? I know you can do the radiant heat, you can do the hydronic heat, baseboards. Baseboard, what, what all can you do with this? Hot water, you can do a superstore off it, pipe it in. So efficiency, why would you go a system like this other than, I mean, you just saved a lot of space right here. It's 95% efficient, the Renai boiler. What kind of efficiency is in the old equipment? 80, 85. Oh, so such a money savings right there. Yeah. How complicated are these to install? I see the gas line coming in. I understand the hot and cold water. I even understand the heating water coming out, but you've got a whole other water supply line down here. Yeah, that's a, that's a boiler feed. So if the water, if the system ever needs that water added, it adds it on its own. And it's a closed loop system. So really there shouldn't be much water to add there. Correct, yeah. So when y'all decided to go radiant heat, put in the Renai Combi boiler, what kind of challenges did you have? No challenge of just running the radiant heat running it into the concrete before you pour it. That was about it. Was it beautiful? Like the big artwork loop system? Those are cool. I got to tell you, looking at something like that, I, I enjoy seeing the professionalism in it and the, how it really looks. That's pretty cool. You can break this out by zones yep. and break each zone down by temperature. And even if you want to turn a zone off or on, if it's in an area, maybe you're not using this, you want to turn it off. Now, one of the things I love about the Renai Combi Boiler is the demand for hot water is priority one. Correct. How does that work? So this is your priority switch here. This, this is your hot water. It allows the, uh, you know, somebody to take a shower, run hot water in the faucet. How many of these do you install a year? Probably a hundred. Put a hundred boilers. A hundred Combi Boilers a year? Yeah. It saves your customers a lot of money, does it, does it not? Okay, so one thing I noticed, you know, when Tankless water heaters first came out, there was this stainless vent, scared a lot of plumbers. I'm looking at two inch PVC, correct? Two inch, yeah. How hard is it to vent these? Fairly easy, two inch, you can go up to 65 feet of venting. Did you go 
up the roof this or did vent, you turn this goes out? up the roof into a concentric vent i like that so it's one hole going through the roof that makes it easy y'all eventually this will not be just plain water in your heating loop system will it no so what do you put in it instead of just water we'll add some uh antifreeze into it and you said about 30 percent 30 percent now that's pretty neat because in texas we don't even run water lines in the attic we're starting to here lately because of pecs and the expansion yeah. but freeze problems can be a pain you said the antifreeze will get down to negative 20. Ne negative 20 to negative 30. and how cold has it gotten here it's, it's gotten colder it will just gel up a little bit it'll slow down the flow so it doesn't circulate it doesn't well. if it's going to get to negative 30 or 40 it's not going to stay at that for more than a couple hours it's usually in the middle of the night so when it kicks over, when the domestic water kicks on and there's a call for it, so somebody's in the shower, the dishwasher's running, somebody's doing laundry, does it shut off the radiant heat and not heat that to do it? Or how does that work? It's able to do both at the same time. I like that. Gives you four to five GPMs while still creating radiant heat at the same time. Correct. Now you've got the hydronic system tied into this, floor uh, radiant heat and the floor system tied into this. What else are you heating? with your multiple units? That's about it. We got the three zones of uh, radiant, and then we have the two zones of hydronic air handler. Okay, so three zones of radiant you've got here, you've got the living area, yep. and the bedroom. The bedroom. You want the bedroom warm, especially when it's 40 below. And then your two units. You got one in this room here, and then we got one in the bedrooms. That does their heat and their AC. So do you still have thermostats in the room to control the heat flow? Yeah, we have or five. do you do it all here? We have five thermostats. So yeah. you can literally have a thermostat set for the temperature of the floor in each room. Yeah. And why don't we install these in Texas? I'm, I'm loving this idea because I wear house shoes around all the time. All right, so as we talk about the install, because I'm looking at this and look, I've never seen anything like this in our area. And I've worked on some big commercial jobs. so. I see things laid out a little bit different, but where do you start? How do you design the radiant heat system here? How do you know, I guess you just lay everything out, pipe it in, you know, this is for this area, this is for that, this is for that. Do you literally design this entire system before you ever come out and do any of the install? No, but we, we pretty much know at this point, because we do so many, what we need for material. Um, to start, you want to figure out where you're going to put the boiler, what the room is. So we made this a utility room. Then we hang in the plywood up. We paint the plywood because it makes it look like a neater job. And then we uh, hang the boiler and we start from there. Okay, and one of my favorite things, the Renat I-Series combi units is the footprint. There's, I mean, you've still got a whole room here that you could use for a lot of different things. And they're very quiet. Yeah, I'm listening to it run and, and it's, okay, one, 181 degrees is what it's reading now. 26 PSI. That is strictly the radiant loop. Correct. And we don't have domestic water hooked up right now, so that's not running. So, I mean, think about that. If somebody has a problem and they need to shut down the water to the house because they're working, they're remodeling, they can still have radiant heat, still heat the house. It can work as two separate units or a combi unit. So on the domestic water here, are you putting in a comfort valve at the far end so they've got a hot water circulating loop so they have hot water where they want it all the time? This house we weren't gonna because the farthest fixture is probably only like 30 feet away. It's not it's gonna close. take very long to get there. Yeah, it's just one floor of this house. Is that something you normally do when you install these units? Sometimes we have to, yeah. If it's, too, if it's in the basement and you got two or three stories above you, customers don't wanna wait for the hot water. So my question is, if we're in Texas, why aren't we installing these yet? Don't get me wrong, I know it doesn't get that cold, but you've always got heat everywhere you are. And the systems work together. Could you see a good use for a system like this? Because I happen to know we're going down to Austin, Texas to look at a big installation where they've done this in multi-unit housing. There's a need for this all across the country, isn't there? Yeah, radiant heat is the most comfortable heat because there's never a cold spot anywhere in the house. I love that. Yeah. Matt with Nolan Energy, thank you very much. Now we've done one other video about how to install this. Guys, make sure you check it out because the installation of these is really very easy. And if you love this one, you're definitely gonna love that one.